Hello and welcome to the Real University's 30-hour post-licensing broker course. This course is a required course for the state of Indiana, and you should be doing this course within the first two years of getting your pre-licensing uh, course completed. So this is the 30-hour post-licensing course, and welcome to the new version with the videos. I am the director and I will be the instructor through this course. My name is Raymond Modulin. You may have known that. So are you ready? Let's get started and go to the next slide. So this course is actually comprised of 12 lessons. Each lesson, we're going to cover a topic, as you can see, um, and then at the end of each topic, we're going to talk a little bit about a skills that you should experience or have learned throughout the process, plus a little recap of what we have covered. So the 12 lessons that we are going to cover for this course um, have been dictated to us by the state, so this is a topic-based course that the state feels that you should have refresh from your 90 hour and are probably very important in the success of your furthering career. So as you can see, we're gonna start off with a little introduction, which is kind of what we're doing right now. We're gonna talk about the practicing of law and the unauthorized practice of law and explain what laws we deal with, what they cover, and what you should and should not be doing for your client. That will lead us into the contracts and we'll discuss in specific each type of con contract that we use. You know, we've got the listing contracts, we've got purchase agreements, we've got buyer's agency agreements, there's a bunch of first rights and all kinds of other forms. Uh, we are gonna specifically dive into the listing and purchase agreements in lesson four because those are the two that you will probably use in just about every one of your deals, uh, for sure, a purchase agreement, listing on half your deals, and maybe the buyer's agencies on the other half. In the fifth lesson, we're gonna cover the actual offer itself and some of the concepts of what a counter offer is and how that they are applied and what does a counter offer really entail. Lesson six is going to bring us to the closing process and the steps that are involved and each player inside of that closing pro process and how the, what their job is and how that they play a role in the success of this closing. Lesson seven is a pretty lengthy session and we are going to be discussing the financing types. Now, one thing that we will not cover in this exam are what I want to call specific situations, because as you know, most of the government service enterprises, the GSEs, you know, FHA, VA, USDA, those rules to me seem very dynamic and they can constantly change. So you're probably going to want to seek out your lending partner to help give you those specific issues. We are going to cover more of the general in theory and what kind of clients they would work for and, and which ones they won't work for. Lesson eight, we're going to be talking something that is near and dear to my heart is the negotiation and counseling of your client. How do you best counsel your client so that you can give them the best experience that they can get and end up with a deal that is satisfactory to everybody? Number nine, we're going to talk a little bit about your business and your planning of your business. This course is not just real estate. This course is about becoming successful at real estate. So we're going to talk about goals and goal setting and time blocking and how to increase your productivity through technology and leveraging team members and things of that nature. Obviously, there's a definite section and a need for the cultural diversity, and we will discuss all about the fair housing. Uh, we're going to talk about the Equal Credit Opportunity Act and a lot of the reasons on why 
that you need to include the diversity inside of your business. Chapter 11 is a fun little chapter. It's not uh, really that informative, I don't feel, because I'm not a construction-based person, but it is obviously great for you to understand some of the types of construction there are. And we actually have a ancillary handout for this chapter that you can print and it shows all of the different types of houses there are from Victorian to a uh, stick house, to shotgun, to adobe. Uh, we're not going to cover every one of those in this course, but we are going to go through the process. We'll talk about some of the systems within the house and we'll talk about permitting and all of that. And then the last uh, session, questions and answers, this is going to be a chance for you to submit questions to me if you have any regarding this course. Uh, notice that there are no exams mentioned anywhere. So there is no final exam for this course. But I do want to make this abundantly clear to you. When you pass this course and your certificate becomes available to you, you will in fact be the one responsible for delivering the certificate to the state uh, professional licensing agency. This is something that we as the school cannot do. Uh, we do not have the system established for that like we would this uh, continuing education. So when you complete this, it is going to be incumbent upon you to submit this 30 hour course to the Professional Licensing Association at 402 West Washington Street, uh, room W072 in Indianapolis. And the address I am sure is in the section, uh, probably up on the first that will have the address. All right, so if you are ready, let's get this party started with lesson one. Let's take a short break and we'll be right back.